going into elk season this year knowing full well that I had not shot an elk since 2014. So I gave myself 10 days to try to get it done this year. Any legal bull was going in my truck. So we are driving into elk camp. Uh, we're at the spot where I can't really pull a trailer anymore, but I got the side by side behind me. We'll get up to camp and figure out what's next. So I'm hunting with uh, my buddy Ben Gatormson and a couple of his buddies. How long have you been out here, like just on this hunt? Uh, this will be uh, 18 days tomorrow. Still looking for that elk. Still. I got the day and a half left, so crunch time. Should be a good camp actually tonight we had. Axis deer uh, sliders. It seemed like everybody enjoyed it. Gonna get the fire going, and the next step is to wake up and find a bull. We got some elk spotted. We're gonna kind of have a idea of what they're doing, so we're gonna loop around, get down below them, see if we can't make a play. That's pretty much it for now.
I didn't know what to say. And he just stepped out in that opening. And just like as soon as I, he, as soon as his shoulder cleared. Mm -hmm. But I saw the, when he ran away, I could see it was like right there. <clears throat> oh man. Are you, are you an elk hunter? I might be an elk hunter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. You almost didn't come. Almost didn't come. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> You got game bags too? I do. That'll do. You feeling all right? Yeah, actually feels pretty good. Surprisingly. Right now it does. You know you're a mountain man when you have this right here. <laughs> it goes around your belt. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what's still keeping you going instead of just throwing in the towel and heading home? Man, I just I just love being out here. Like tonight we uh, dropped in on a, on a bull and ended up not working out and we got you know less than 10 feet from a bear which is i mean that's that made the whole the whole trip right there you know help <laughs> all right i'll see you guys at the top <laughs> so between the pack out and then being able to hang out with friends in camp it became very clear that shooting the elk was secondary and everything else about that experience was why I was there. <laughs> that's, what that's, that's what I need, huh? That's what we call <laughs> <laughs> There's always but. something like, uh, you know, every hunting or, you know, fishing, camping experience, there's always something that you didn't expect that happens that kind of makes a trip. and. Um, that's what it's all about for sure.